All right, Brock Thay Howard, Brock Thay Howard, Shy. Brock Thay Howard, Brock Thay Howard, Shy. Brock Thay Howard, Brock Thay Howard, Shy. I'll put this out with my Shy. Double honors to the elders, the apostles that rule well, and the salutations to the people that bring the truth to society. Now, this is uh, just a couple of scriptures, you know, that lift my mind, you know, that will up my spirit while I'm listening to walking. Uh, I'm going to start with Psalms 58 1. Uh, nope, 15 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Right, and when you look up that word estranged, it means enemy, an enemy. So the wicked are estranged from the womb, and that goes back, and the wicked is Esau, and that goes back to Jacob and Esau, how they were struggling within the womb, and they was fighting. So Esau being the wicked was our enemy since the beginning. They go, uh, it says, uh, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. And we know this white man for uh, uh, the great liar that he is, the great fabricator that the scriptures think of, the one who covered the faces of the judges. Got all the images up as uh, white, when really Yahweh Shai and the angels are black. Let me see. Let me get both of them scriptures. All right, this is uh, Genesis chapter 25, verse 20. It says, And Esau was 40 years old when he took Rebekah, the wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Padanaram, the sister of Laban, the Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his, for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord, Yahweh, was entreated of him. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. Right, so she had a, a kid, man. She was able to get pregnant. She then had a kid. It says, and the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? Right, they was already fighting in the womb. And she went to inquire of the Lord, Yahweh. And the Lord, Yahweh, said unto her, two nations are in thy womb, and two men of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Right. That's why the whole... War that's going on really is between Esau and Jacob. I mean, uh, yeah, Jacob and Esau. I'm sorry. It says, "Shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other, and that's Israel. Then the other people and the elder shall serve the younger." Right? Because Esau came out first. It says, um, uh, "And when her days to be to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb." And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, right? And these white people are red. They're translucent. You see their blood through the skin. And they call his name Esau. And after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold of Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. Right. So um, Jacob taking hold of Esau's heel. Is uh, us bringing down them foundations and them lies and stuff, man. Like I said, uh, the wicked, according to the Bible, is Esau. And Jacob and Esau have been fighting since the beginning. Let me see. Right, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right, so who ruled the earth, man? You know, when we first, and it's still happening. We first came into the truth. And, uh, you know, people used to be like, well, shit, uh, they act like they don't, uh, you know, know who actually ruled in this world, man. But it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right, so the wicked got the earth under his, under his control, man. And that's uh, Esau the white man, the elites of them. And then they suck pawns and puppets known as presidents, governors, senators. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right, and that started uh, with Yahweh Shai. Uh, Caesar Bojour painted himself up as uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, man, upon the son of Pope Alexander VI, man. And then, you know, uh, they passed that bullshit down to this generation, and they back in the reincarnation, man. All right. Can we go back to Psalms?
Right, it says, the wicked are estranged from the womb. Right, so the wicked is our enemy. Jacob and Esau is fighting in the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Right, man, and the white man didn't lie about everything, man. Who's really the Israelites, what our real land is, you know, so on and so forth. Let me see. But we at the end now. We are at the end now. Let me see. Trying to get these scriptures on point. Okay, let's see. Number six, yeah. No, oh, that's still good. Oh, okay, yeah. This is um Second Ezra chapter six, verse. Let me start at verse eight. And he said unto me, Hold on, let me see. <laughs> Hold on. All right, I'm starting verse six. Second Ezra chapter six, verse six. Then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone, and through none other. Uh, by me also, they shall be ended, and by none other. Right. So for everybody that's wondering when the end of the world is to come, the Lord going, you know, in the world in actually uh this white man's society and set us up us israelites up which are the black lives native americans up as being the new rulers that's what the end of the world is you know it's really about man i was at the job and um my uh trainer you know he was speaking on it and everything you know you could tell he know what's going on and shit you know so i just i just listened to him and everything see, see how far the rabbit hole will go you know feed him a little information you know we going back and forth and whatnot but um yeah, he like, man, yeah, you know, everybody believes it's the end of the world, you know, uh, this, that, and the other. I'm like, yeah, man, they got that out there, man. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, man, they making out, making movies and all this about it and stuff. They just giving the people what they want and stuff. But uh, really, the end of the world is uh, this white man system going down and all is coming up. Not only this white man's, Esau's. Um, uh, the rest of the nations also, because they, they didn't like, you know, Esau is ruling over all of them, but they in their little rulerships, they got their own lands, their own military, they got their own, uh, own money, you know, so all this going to come to an end, though, but for, uh, scripture's sake, keeping it in context, Esau world is, Esau's rulership is coming to an end, um, uh, more so, it says, uh, by none other, then answered I and said, What shall be the part and asunder of the times, and when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, right? That was back in Genesis. Boom down his foundation, his lies. For Esau is the end of the world, right? So Esau is the end of the world because he's the one top in rulership, and Jacob. Is the beginning of it that followed, right? And so since we living in the time of Esau's time, man, I mean, you should know that Esau's rulership is coming down and uh, Jacob's is being established next. So. And how do we know that? You know, just not just a little question I had to throw out there. How do we know that? Because of prophecy. It's biblical prophecy. Why? Because that's pulling down his foundations. It's ending his world, man. The prophets were sent. 
to expose the truth and let, let everybody know that this society is coming down. All nations, not just uh, the 12 tribes of Israel. So Edomites have to be told that their world is coming down. What's their judgment and everything. And then you got some Jakes that look like uh, Esau. So, you know, while we're giving out the her word, uh, you know, the spirit is going to discern if they, they uh, of, of Israel, you know, even though their skin is a different color. And if they have the elect. And a lot of that, we really ain't got to worry about too much no way. Because how Shah said, the angels is going to be uh, dividing at that time. But, um, yeah, and then when, um, yeah, how about Shema Shah Rath is uh, with the elect, we're going to be, when we get our spiritual power, we're going to be them angels too, man. But it says, um, hmm. Second Ezra. All right, the second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in it in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, right? And we've been watching the signs, and they are passing. Then shalt thou understand that it was the very same time where the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, right? And the Lord is visiting the world which he made. You see the uproars, the riots, the, uh, 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 the, um, the stress of nations, uh, you know, nations are in st uh, straits with perplexity. All that's going on right now, man. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and vapor, um, famines, oh, my bad, uproars, I'm sorry, uproars of the people in the world, and that's happening all over, all over, all over. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right, man. And the Lord did speak of this at the time in the beginning, man. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And this is the end, man. We at the end. We at the end. We at the end of this uh, society. And it's about time. Because uh, these these nations have been ruling over us for too long. You know, I can't wait to, you know, personally, you know, get my uh, uh, servants and my handmaids, you know, all this walking and working and shit. I got to do and shit, man. And I'm pretty sure all the brothers feel the same way. And Israel, even though, you know, they're not of the elect or don't even, you know, think about the scriptures, they um they feel the same way too, man. A lot of them, I mean, not all of them. It's like you. But, yeah, that's the, that's, that's the end of the lesson. That's it. Six, eight, no one minute to go back. But all praise to you. How about you? shy. Double honors to the elders and apostles that rule well. And salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth with sincerity. Shalom.